Still not sure who the buyer will be. Let's look at what happened in London today. Shares in the parent company Barclays UK fell. Let's see how the news was received in that market. British High Street Banking, that is where the focus will return for Barclays. New Chief Executive Jess Staley wants to further the bank's restructuring. And despite Barclays Africa posting profits, analysts say exposure to risk and a refocus has led to this move. They are looking to uh, increase their funding ability uh, and utilise some of their assets. Asset stripping has been something we've seen from many of the European banks and certainly UK banks as well. And as much as the Barclays South Africa exposure has, over the course of time, been a broadly positive one, um, it is an asset that they feel that they will be able to sell off in a two to three year period. Barclays has operated in Africa for a century and has 12 million customers in 12 African countries. Barclays is as much a fixture on the British high street as it is in many African countries. But as the bank restructures, it's refocusing its efforts on its businesses back at home. Barclays management are conscious maybe that there isn't the supportive uh, investment community on a global basis that there had been when the financial crisis struck originally. Um, the fact that they're leaving uh, uh, Africa and uh, over 100 years worth of uh, business experience is maybe not too much uh, to be read into that because uh, I think the global investment community is much more uh, a broadened basis these days. Barclays says it'll take two to three years to sell off its 62.3% stake in Barclays Africa. However long it takes, the principle is clear. Barclays has given the red light to its future in Africa. Dan Whitehead, SABC News, London.